M0FXBI Com 7300 Mark II. Someone messaged me and said that the noise reduction on the ICOM 7300 is useless. And I just cannot agree with that. So, let's turn it off and get everything back to default. You can hear that there. And we'll also, I've been using the filter. So let's go here. Press the smaller button. And when you press, and I'll press and hold, and it brings it back. Everything's back to as it would normally be. Okay, so let's turn it up. So you can't really... It's difficult to hear that station, isn't it? And I've chosen a weak station on purpose. So now we're going to hit the noise reduction and we're going to hold it and we've set it at five, okay? If it goes six, it gets a bit watery, so five. Straight away we can hear it, okay? We can hear that station. Now, just to further improve, you can just, I'm turning the outer knob, look, and we're on lower side band, so I'm going to the left. And then the inner knob. And let's turn it up. Okay, now to me that works. Let's turn it off. I think it works. I don't think it's useless. And you've got the noise blanker, which I actually hardly ever use. I think it's the kind of thing I would use if I had the Hoover on. And then we've got notch. So again, something I don't actually use. But it's again another tool. Turn on the noise reduction. Let's try the notch. Oops. So I think the noise reduction. And remember, this is the this isn't the top the top end radio seven six one zero seven seven six zero is it the new one? This is um, the starting radio for your HF. You know the newer models. I think I don't. I think saying that it's useless. I think that with any set even with a, a completely different set you have to learn how to use the tools that you've been given and even i bet you uh, someone's going to message me now and say oh try this try that twist this do that and then you've got to think about your antenna setup you've got to think what local qrm is coming into your antenna have you have you grounded your antenna that makes a difference um, when it comes to transmit, you need to earth your antenna, you know, and there's loads of advice on that. I'm very lazy with it. I stick a rod into the ground and connect to a 49 to one unun and chuck a 66 foot length of wire out. But that works for me because when the conditions are good, it just, all this comes to life. Obviously on the right bands. In the morning, it tends to be okay. Mm, but yeah, it's all in the work. If you're willing to work hard, look at that! Oh my god, that's rubbish. If you're willing to work hard, put the work into your antenna, and then actually learn how to use the radio filtering, you're going to have a good experience. These radios are fantastic. The uh, the ASU seven one zero. I agree that the DNR is very good. You push the button and it will just wipe everything out instantly. And, and I check it out. You know, the Yesu, the DX10s, the 101s and the, the 710s. They, they, they are watery, but they work well. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching.